Use Tues Tuber here back with another video and today I'm going to talk about the tips and tricks on how to get sold out used tubes for retail price or just around it. So let's get started. The main tip I have is just because the item says it's sold out, it doesn't mean it's not going to come back in stock. A lot of the J Slot Ram plushes that sold out immediately have actually came back in stock on and off in the last couple of weeks. One of the biggest examples of items coming back in stock is actually going to be the J Slot Ram plushies that just came out about a week and a half ago at this point. My idea of why these keep randomly coming back in stock is I believe people are trying to flip them on eBay, which I have seen, and they're just not getting bids. I've noticed that a lot of them keep getting reput with zero bids. They're asking for two to three hundred dollars for these items. Now, at any point before you two ship out, you can contact them and ask for a refund. When that refund goes through, that item now becomes in stock again. In the last three days alone, the business ram, the sleepy ram, and the one sitting with the tongue sticking out, I don't remember the official name for that, have came back in stock. And a lot of them, they go really quick. But just because it's sold out doesn't mean it's not going to come back in stock before it's ship date. The other one I have is obviously eBay. Now eBay, I do check every single day for U2s. And the biggest tip I say is always put newly added when you're searching. Because what you can do is you can favorite them. Also, keep in mind just how much you want to spend on that U2s. And if there is free shipping, don't be afraid to bid a little bit more. What I do to try to make sure I get the ones that I really want is I'll put a little extra money towards the bid. So if someone goes out bid me at the end, I have a better chance of getting it right before it sells out if I can't necessarily be on my phone the moment it's going to sell out. But that is how I've been getting all of my sold out YouTubes. And I try to stay at least about $10 over or 15 over what they sold on YouTube's website. There will be times where you catch people selling them very off guard or for very cheap but free shipping because they don't know what they have. A third option I have is obviously there is a lot of social media groups on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram that you can sell, buy, and trade YouTubes on. And that I've used to just try to see if I can make negotiations for some of the plushes that have came in or especially the Vanoss YouTubes. I'm really looking for that. So I've been trying to negotiate myself to only spending about $40 on it before shipping, even though they're selling for $60, $80. Once you have a good build on those kind of sites, it's easier for people to let them go for less money because they feel like they can trust you. But that is all my tips on how to get YouTubes that have sold out and not pay over retail price or at least close to retail price. Let me know if I helped you at all down in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.